The RISE diet came about when Dr. Kempner, who had been working uh, on kidney tissue metabolism, uh, figured out that the, the injured tissue that in the kidney was, was working hard trying to do things to take care of the protein load on it and the salt load on it. And I guess what he came up with is, well, why don't we take the load off the kidney and see if it can improve? And he came up with a low fat, uh, not a low fat, but a low protein, low salt diet, which also was low fat too, but, uh, and tried it in some people uh, in the hospital on a sort of experimental basis. And lo and behold, people with kidney disease and blood pressure got better. And particularly, uh, the kidney disease that he treated has just sort of disappeared, but the, and so has the high blood pressure. But in those days, the real the real gold, I think, was in the high blood pressure because people died 90% of the time within three years of this kind of high blood pressure. And people came from all over the world because basically he had the only treatment. So he put Duke University Medical Center on the map with people coming uh, to be treated by him with the rice diet. And they had to do that. They had to stay in Durham for a long period of time. The rice diet, well, it's, it's two things. In the old days, uh, it was cast in the medical uh, terminology as a low-fat, low-salt, low-protein diet. Uh, these days, I like to recast it as a diet of eating food, real food, not processed food, which, we, of course, we never did. Uh, mostly plants, we, grains, fruits, and vegetables is really the basis of the diet, and then uh, additions of animal products uh, if desired and if tolerated. And if tolerated means can you, can you take these things without getting sick? Now, that's getting to be a tougher thing over the years because in Kempner's day it was let's measure your blood pressure, let's measure your cholesterol, and if they go up or down we kind of concluded that's the end of it, we know what's going to happen. But these days some of the things that we're involved in are uh, we don't know the long-term consequences, and so it's harder to do a test that's going to tell you what's going to happen in the long run. Everybody starts out with what we call the basic diet, or rice and fruit, which in the old days was grapefruit or, and, or some fruit and oatmeal for breakfast and rice and two fruits for lunch and dinner. There are other grains that we serve. If you want to eat uh, other grains instead of the rice, that's fine. Uh, and then we progress to adding vegetables and in the old days, again, there were certain vegetables that were forbidden because they had high sodium content. We don't do that anymore. Uh, and then uh, if people wish, they can add chicken, fish, dairy products when they go home. We do serve fish at the rice house once a week, but we don't serve any dairy or meat or anything, or chicken or anything like that. Some of the specific dramatic results, uh, the getting rid of edema, whether it's in your lungs or in your legs, is a uh, is, is amazing. Uh, I told people uh, in my lecture last night about a patient who had come who was in heart failure and taking a bunch of diuretics and Kempner stopped it all and the next couple of days I was worried that he was going to get in worse heart failure and by the end of the month he was out of heart failure with no medicines. People with diabetes who come get instantly off their medicines and their blood sugar is returned to normal. Uh, people with high blood pressure on a bunch of medicines, the blood pressure comes back to normal, no medicines. Uh, it's, it's really gratifying to see how much people can do for themselves if they are given the proper guidance as to what, what needs to be done. And the low salt, low fat thing is, uh, low salt, I'm going to say low, keep saying low, <laughs> keep saying low fat, low salt, but it's also low protein, uh, moderate protein if you want to put it that way, is, uh, is, is just it's more dramatic than most medicines I've ever seen. Uh, Dr. Kempner uh, was recruited. He was born in Germany in 1903 and grew up in a medical family. Uh, he came, was recruited to come. He worked with some Nobel Prize winners, Barberg and Krebs. That's how he got into this business of working with the tissue slices and looking at the metabolism of, of kidney slices. And then he was recruited by Dr. Haynes, who was the first department chairman at Duke University, to come to Duke. Uh, came to Duke where he continued his work uh, with the kidney slices and then uh, by 1939 had gotten to where they wanted, he wanted to try to see what, what he could do to help people with kidney uh, disease and hypertension and started treating people. By 1944 he treated enough people that he wrote a paper 
that kind of put Duke University on the map. I mean, the results were really astounding in that day. As I said, the people, particularly the ones with hypertension, most of them were dead in three years, and his people were living, you know, four, five, six years, and they were, their blood pressures were normal, and the, all the manifestations of the blood pressure, uh, the, the damage to the kidney and the eyes and the heart had disappeared in a lot of these people. So it was, it was a pretty uh, amazing result for that day. There were, we have to remember there were no medicines either that you could treat it with. We've looked at people out at four or five, well, one through four, five, six years, and at four, five, six years, about 40% of the people report to us that they have either lost more weight or kept their weight off. So it's not anywhere like what you hear about weight loss programs where everybody's gaining their weight back in six, nine months. It just, that's not at all what it is. It may be, uh, Part of it may be the commitment that people make when they do something like come to a residential program is, is a much deeper commitment than you would make when you go down to your local uh, store and you know, join some membership thing. I'm not poo-pooing that. I think it's very important to have a, a community of people to support your efforts and uh, your local weight loss programs can do this, so I'm, I, I'm all for that. I just like you to stay with the diet. <laughs> that we prescribe, which is again mostly plant-based and, and low, very low sodium. And we're very big on telling people that they can do more for themselves usually than any doctor can do. They're just willing to do it. If people want to learn more about the Rice Diet, the best way is to go to our website, ricediet.com or ricedietprogram.com. And most of the things are out there, and if they aren't, you can email us or call us at the office and we'll be glad to help you. It's just the only other thing I'd like to say is that it's, it's been a pleasure to have worked with them. Uh, and I hope that we'll be able to see the rice diet continue in the coming years as sort of in memoriam, if nothing else. Because <laughs> it really is a great program, and, uh, and he was a great man.